Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know-It-All, so uh, <laughs> misinformation is on a work trip. I think I've noted that before. I was in the gym last time. This time I figured, hey, why not have a nicer background? So there's the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Jekyll Island in Georgia. Um, anyway, just got done with a great Electric Day talk, but I wanted to do a very quick episode here, just <laughs> really brief, just saying that um, a, the AI day number two was supposed to be, I think it was August 19th, I believe that is correct. But Elon Musk yesterday just tweeted out that they are switching the date to September 30th, and he said it's going to be epic, but the really, really big, important piece of news is that they're going to potentially be showing the Optimus bot. He said they might have a demo version of Optimus ready by the 30th of September. So that is super exciting news. Of course, there had been a lot of rumors that the, you know, <laughs> that was one of the things that was going to be shown at AI Day. It's interesting that it seems like I don't know if Tesla had not planned on showing that previously, and then people started talking about it and they said, oh wait, maybe what we should do is do that. Um, or if they had originally thought that they would be able to get the Optimus bot done by that particular date and then thought, oh no, we won't be able to get it done by then, we'll get it done by the 30th. It does seem a little bit odd that they wouldn't have <laughs> had that in mind when they were doing these dates originally, so I'm not exactly sure. But it is quite possible that they just hadn't really planned on doing that and that we're just going to talk about full self-driving and all of that kind of stuff and then realized from the internet's sort of reaction to it and everyone talking about Optimus and the Tesla bot that maybe what they should do is they should actually add that into the presentation and and then like, would we be able to get a prototype out? So again, Elon's not promising this, but he is saying that there's a reasonable possibility that there will be a demo version of the Optimus bot out there. That of course is the, I think it's five foot eight, 125 pounds, sorry. <laughs> I have to think about that for a second to get that in metric, but that's what I remember about it. So, you know, relatively small and light human being sized robot and you know it's just wow <laughs> if that thing's actually functional in any sense i was kind of thinking like in the last year's ai day they had the uh, the person come out and dance like the optimus bot if they could get the actual robot to come out in 2022 and do the same basic kind of dancing as the human being kind of a la boston dynamics that would be a pretty cool demo but anyway obviously these ai days are designed to attract the best the best and the brightest AI talent. And again, if you didn't know, I, <laughs> I've, I've tried a couple of times to get into the team and I'm not good enough for that. So anyway, so clearly people who are better than I am, but anyway, they're trying to attract the best and the brightest. And so having a, a robot that's a functional robot that they can say, look, come help work on this would be an absolutely great calling card. So I think it's a really, really good idea. I'm a little surprised I didn't think about that beforehand, but you know, whatever. So anyway, it's something to look forward to. It's a month further away, of course, but on the positive end, it should be much more exciting with that. And Elon said it's gonna be epic. So here's hoping. <laughs> anyway, I hope you all have a lovely Friday and I will talk to you all again soon. Bye-bye.